All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be going over how to create lead generation uh, website conversion campaigns in Facebook. Um, so Facebook has a variety of different variety of different goals with their campaigns from app installations to website clicks to awareness to page likes. And probably the most popular thing is to optimize for conversions. Oh, get that out of there. So probably the most popular thing is to optimize for conversions. So you set up your key performance indicator in Facebook and you could have multiple it could be sales it could be lead generation um, so you set that up first and then you set up your campaign and basically track everything so what I'm basically gonna do here and I'm gonna be working on behalf of a client beachfront decor today so they have a giveaway going on this month um, and what I'm gonna be doing is first showing you where you set up the Facebook pixel um, where you go to set it up so when you're in your account here um, what you're going to do is go up at the top and you have all these different options over here but right here is pixels um, so when you click on pixels um, it's going to show your different your pixel for that account um, specifically and basically what it is is a pixel is site-wide it looks at your most popular pages so you can see down here here's some of the most popular URLs over the past seven days just page views um, so some different things where they get good traffic um, so basically you put your pixel on every single page and it's almost like Google Analytics has or it's almost like Facebook pixel is Google Analytics um, but you don't get all the data so it's similar to that it's on every single page and what you want to do is you can create a conversion here um, so if I've, I've already done this so what I do is over here custom conversions so basically um, this conversion is called a beachfront decor newsletter sign up and when someone hits the thank you page, basically the pixel counts. So there's some different signups here every day. You'll see like there's some days where there's a lot, some days where there's not many. Um, so basically all you do is you set up the pixel site wide and then I basically put when the page, and you could, I'll just show you real quick. So basically you just put here, URL contains thank you and category is just a lead. And that's basically it. Once you click next, that's all my pixel is, or that's all my conversion is, I guess. And it's just based on that pixel. Um, so basically it's counting every single thing. And how it works is I'm going to be sending traffic to this page here. So people come here, they see March, 2017 giveaway, uh, giving away a flip flop wall hook hanger. So if I come in here and, and basically we'll just do testing one, two, three at gmail.com. So when I come here, and someone comes on this page after they click my Facebook ad, they enter their email, they click subscribe. And it takes a second while they get added to the list. So basically they get put to this page, beachfrontdecor.com slash thank you. You'll see thanks for entering. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna fire back into Facebook here and it's not gonna show up right away, but it's gonna fire back into Facebook here. And Facebook's able to track, basically we sent person A to beachfrontdecor.com, they signed up, and here we sh we're showing you that they just signed up. And you're basically able to optimize your campaigns that way because you can see what's working and what's not. You know, if I send 100 people there and no one converts, then I have an issue. If I send 10 people there and five convert, then I have obviously a great campaign. So let's come back to our account here um, and get started with the campaign. Um, so some past ones I've done. So all you do up here is click create ad. So when you click create ad, you're going to see basically your first thing is your campaign page. You go from campaign to ad set to ad. From the campaign page, you set up your marketing ob objective. Um, so for this one, it's going to be conversions. So you can do split testing. Um, this is going to be more of a simple video. You're going to want to do more split testing as you go, for sure. Actually, you want to start with some split testing, but this is just basically going to be a simple. So for our ad set name, I'm going to target Let's just say people who are interested in beach decor. I'll find some different interest categories to target. Um, so for website, basically when you come in here, it's going to say select a conversion event, whatever you know comes up the most. And you can set these all up. If you have a Shopify website, you can set up purchase, all these different things, purchase, add to cart. Um, so different things you can search. For us, it's just newsletter signups. When someone hits that thank you page um, from a Facebook ad, you know after they convert, that's what I want to that's what I want to track so no offer uh, basically we'll make another video showing what offers are um, so for custom audiences I usually use a save audience so I have an audience here some different 
locations, some different interests and stuff. Don't want to give away too much here, but um, <laughs> but basically our you could do custom audiences here, read marketing audiences or lookalike audiences. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but I have a few that I've made. Um, so let's just say I want to target everybody in the United States. Let's say I want 30 plus. I want to go maybe a little bit of an older crowd, maybe some more money. Hopefully they have a little, little higher net worth. Um, so basically we come in here, language, you want to set your language if you're not, you know, if you only serve one language, which I do. Detailed targeting. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is type in, and I have some things that will come up here, so I'll just type in some of these. Beach life, I love the beach, coastal living. So basically all these people, I can be pretty positive that, you know, they're going to have an interest in the beach. They're going to have an interest in beach decor. Um, but let me go a step further because I'm targeting everybody in the United States. I'm targeting everyone with all these huge interests. Let me narrow my audience a little bit further. So you're going to see once you click narrow audience, you can say people have to have these interests and they must also. So what I'm going to do, let's say, so right here I could target people with higher incomes. So let's say I want to target people with higher incomes. Let's say I want to reach people who are going to be spending, you know, large amounts of money with me. And that would what we all want, huh? So basically if you're a hundred plus, I'm just going to add you. And I don't want to leave out any of these, uh, you know. So basically, we're doing all these high incomes and all these high net worths, basically. So now our potential reach goes down to 30 million people. Um, so still a little bit large for me. So let me narrow a little bit further. And let me go with suggestions here. <laughs> let me browse. So we're going to go into demographics here. We're going to go to home, home ownership, and we're going to say homeowners. So I just want to reach people who are homeowners because, you know, they're established in their house. They want to get new beach decor. So now, my, now they're saying my audience selection is fairly broad. Um, I have a pretty, pretty large audience, surprisingly. So what I'm going to do is actually take out, yeah, let's take out this one. And let's go, you know, 125 and up. Pretty good potential reach still. A little bit broad, they're saying, but I honestly think it's not too broad. I'm, I'm only really targeting people who have, you know, these types of interests, pretty strong. Um, and then these different demographics here as well. So what I like to do is, and we'll kick expand interests further when it may increase conversions. You might as well do that. Facebook's only out basically to help you, and that's what I've always found with their channel is they're one of the better channels. Um... I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna exclude anybody who likes beachfront decor. They don't need to see my ads. They already like me. So, um, basically, what we're gonna do is um, expand interests because I don't want. I would rather Facebook know that there's some people interested in what I'm doing. Um, you know, and and basically show my ad to them. So, for placements here, automatic placements, you'll be shown on Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network. What we're gonna do is edit placements, and we're gonna keep all devices. And we're going to get rid of Instagram. We're going to get rid of the audience network. Basically told you that I'm not going to be running those stuff. So just going to be a Facebook website conversions campaign. So we're just going to be running. And you'll see over here in the feeds, instant articles. It's not going to run in in-stream videos because it's you know not a video ad and right column. So pretty good there. We're going to keep $20 for our daily budget. Um, if you want, you can do some of these advanced options. We're not going to do them. That's really more for like an advanced uh, type thing. So let's do set a start and end date and we're just going to do a month so it's going to say twenty dollar daily budget it's going to run for 31 days and it's going to go six hundred twenty dollars is my maximum spend so if i know i have seven hundred dollar budget perfect now i'm going to send six hundred twenty dollars and i could see basically the the fruits of my labor um so once i click continue so now we're over here and we're just going to go with a single image uh, for our format and what you want to do is upload your image here. They recommend 1200 by 628. Here's the image ratio basically that they recommend. Um, I've used 600 by 315 ads plenty with plenty of success. So it doesn't have to be that large if you're kind of limited with the image you have. Trust me, I've run into that a lot. So it can be 600 by 315 also works. Um, you could do 600 by 314 maybe, but I've just always kept it. 
Um, the other thing is little or no overlaid text. Go with a very visual image. Do not use something and put a ton of text on it. It's one of the biggest things. I've had advertisers, like clients that I've worked with, and they send me these ads with tons of text, and they always get disapproved or they're always performed poorly. And no matter how many times I told them, they always put text on the ad. So it's kind of, it goes against some creative teams, what they think, but you kind of basically have to tell them, look, Facebook wants a visual ad and it's going to perform better. And if it's you, you're doing it for your own business, then use a visual ad, even if you have to pay for it. So they have some things here, free stock images. I don't know that how free they are. Um, they say some don't comply with Facebook policies. If they're part of Shutterstock and you're using them for commercial purposes, you usually have to pay for them. So make sure you're paying for these stock images. If, if you're going to spend $700 on a campaign, you might as well spend $20 on an image. I mean, it's they have some beautiful images out there and some things you could do to represent your brand well. So Next, we're going to set our ad. So I've already uploaded mine. So once you upload things, I'm going to browse my library. Here's my ad right here. It was 600 by 315, like I said before. So, you know, I'm not just jiving you. Um, so here's my ad. It's uploaded. I don't have any text around at all. Um, they're going to try to pull up some text probably when I enter my URL. But So I'm going to come in here. Here's my URL. And what we want to do here, and this is important part, is when you're grabbing your URL for your ad is set up tracking. So we're going to set up tracking over here. Um, what we're going to do is enter our new website URL. So we have beachfrontdecor.com slash giveaway. Our campaign source is going to be Facebook CPC campaign name. So basically we could just do beachfront decor giveaway. So now I'll know what that is and we'll do Facebook. So I know even though the source is here in Facebook, um, I'm just going to do this all separately. Um, campaign term. So this identifies the paid keywords. So, or basically what you're targeting. So I'm just going to do basically beach interests, high income. So that's basically what I'm targeting. Differentiate ads. So I only have one ad. So we're just going to do I'm just going to do add one. If you have different ads, you can do add one, add two, add three, and you can basically see which ads are performing best. Um, and same with terms. This is where you basically want to do your different ad sets that you're targeting. Um, I'm only going to do one ad set, one ad for this, because uh, you basically get the gist of it using that. Um, so they have my URL all created down here. Just click copy URL. Um, come back in here to website URL pastes. There we go. It's going to try to pull in text. I wish it wouldn't do this because it just makes me. All right, here we go. All right, so basically I'm just entering some ad copy here and I'm going to show you where they where they all go on the ad here. And this is why you don't need to use text on your thing because there's text above it and below it. So there's plenty of text. That's why Facebook doesn't want you to use text. They want visual. They give you the text around it to basically describe what it is. Um, headline, I like to use a uh, I like to use a call to action in the headline and then down here in the call to action, I like to kind of make it so it works up well. So we could do sign up. All right. So just we'll just do here. You are entered to win a new beach decor prize every month. So pretty simple here. Um, you might want to use all your characters. Basically with ads and ad copy, it's a testing thing. You can upload this ad five times with five different ad copy and just see what works well. Um, with high budgets, I recommend using a lot of ads for sure because they'll automatically use the top performers. Um, but otherwise, everything's pretty set up well here. I have my website URL where I'm sending traffic. I have tracking set up. I have a headline, enter the beachfront decor giveaway. I have my text at the top, text at the bottom, and also the sign up call to action button over here. It's kind of hard to get it. For some reason, it won't let me scroll much. But um, you can actually see how it's going to look in different, you know, the ad preview. So here's a mobile news feed, feature phone. So different things. And you can maybe adjust it depending on how it looks. It all depends on how you want it to look. So... I usually just look at desktop newsfeed, looks good. And basically we're tracking all conversions for my pixel, no offline set, and everything's done with the ad. So we've set up our campaign. Our objective is conversions. We set up the ad set, our conversion. We don't have an offer. Uh, we did the audience. We did the placements of just Facebook, mobile, desktop, newsfeed, and right column. And we did our budget and scheduling where we're going to run it for 31 days with a max spend of $620. Our ad format, we just did a single one. You know, media, we uploaded our image. And 
page and links we have everything here where, where we're sending traffic so click place order and give it a second Facebook's actually very quick it's one of those channels where you can put it up and it's basically up right away so pretty nice there not a whole lot of review or anything so basically now we have it all set my campaign is just called conversions um, my ad set is just called beach decor and we have everything set up here if I click on beach decor um, what we can do is oh, let me go back one all right so what we can do here is actually if you're in the ad set level I thought they used to do this at the ad level but they change things every day so if you click here, you can see objective conversions. If you click see posts, you can actually see what it looks like in uh, the desktop news feed. So enter our monthly beachfront decor giveaway for your chance to win sandal wall hooks. By entering your email address, you enter to win new beach decor prize every month. Perfect. I click on it. I see my URL. I see my tracking is set up. I'm going to the right landing page. When people fill this out, it's going to go to the thank you page, record a conversion, and we're going to be set. So that's basically it, setting up a lead generation um, on Facebook, a Facebook campaign, there's a pretty quick video for it. Um, setting up your Facebook pixel might be difficult depending on how much knowledge you have in that area, so how much technical knowledge you have. Of course, if you need help with Facebook advertising, we can certainly help you at Surfside PPC. We have the capability to to run your campaigns and everything like that, so give us a call if, if you need help. Um, otherwise, thanks for joining me today. Make sure you subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll be back with some more videos in the next coming days. So.